In today's video, we have another massive Yu-Gi-Oh collection. Time to do, 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 do. What's up guys, we're back with another collection purchase and as you saw in the intro, we have a lot to open up. This is actually a mixture of two separate collections. One is a very small singles collection and the other is a sealed collection. So I decided to throw them together and make one video. But before we get into that, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three Ancient Sanctuary first edition ultra rares. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite item from the sealed collection. They're singles and they're sealed products. So there's a lot of different ones you could pick. All right, let's start off with the singles because they're only like, I thought there was going to be more in this collection because he just told me and he sent it to me and I thought there was going to be more cards, but there's actually only 18 cards in here. So I'm going to get these out real quick and we're going to look at them. They are nice cards though. So they're pretty cool. Okay. There was actually more than 18. I think there's like 20 something cards so there's not a ton but these are edison format so this is all edison format cards high rarity i mean we're talking some bangers here so let's start off we have one two icarus attack these are from dark revelation 4 so obviously dark revelation 4 is a really rare set most of the foils out of here are extremely expensive especially if they're playable like icarus attack it's just a really good card for like wing beast uh, decks and stuff like that i guess this is a black wing card you'd probably run pretty amazing icarus attack cards then we have a couple more trap cards we have a couple beckoning light these are used in light sworn and edison these are from turbo pack 2 okay these i have had one of these in the past but Light Sworn, I do have a deck, but I haven't like maxed it out or anything, so I've never really used these. So a couple beckoning lights, that's pretty nice. And speaking of Light Sworn, we have three ultimate rare first edition solar rechargers. So these are beautiful. They're from uh, Light Destruction, the original set. They come in, I think, ultra rare and ultimate rare in that set. These are just really good cards. You draw, I think you discard a Light Sworn, yeah, and draw two. So it's a pretty cool draw card for Light Sworn uh, in Edison. And obviously the ultimate rares are pretty expensive because, you know, ultimate rare first add Light Destruction, very hard set to find. So very solid solid value on those. I mean, these are like the low end ones of what we're about to show you guys. So get ready. Then we have a couple of monster reincarnations, first edition from Rise of Destiny. These aren't actually that crazy because most of the time they have back scuffing on them. So they go for light play. I had one that was like in beautiful condition and it looked like it had been pulled right out of a pack, but it had the back scuffing. I couldn't sell it for like 35 bucks. It took forever. And I was like, man, this card's really beautiful for how cheap that is. I think people just don't realize how rare it is to find a Rise of Destiny card with a clean back. So yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. It's like, should that be near mint? Cause it's like how that normally is probably not, but Still. Then we have an ultimate rare future fusion. Here's a card I actually don't have in my Edison deck. It has a ding corner, so this might be a good one for me to not resell and keep and put it in my Edison deck. My Edison deck is like halfway maxed out. You know, half of it's maxed, half of it's like the $1 version. So but one of the cheap ones I have is Future Fusion. I think I have like a Duelist Saga, so it's only a few dollars. This one is definitely more expensive and a lot cooler with the ultimate rare. So that might be one I hang on to. I haven't quite decided yet. Then we have a play set of first edition Necro Gardener from Tactical Evolution. Yeah, Tactical Evolution, really weird set. Quality control was wild on it, but beautiful looking cards. I guess this is Lightsworn. I don't know what other Edison deck is using Necro Gardner. I would assume it's Lightsworn. So those are beautiful looking cards. Here's one. I don't know. I don't know if this is Edison. Like, I mean, I guess it could have been used. I don't know what deck was using it. You'll have to let me know in the comments. Neospace and Dark Panther. I mean, it's a pretty expensive card. And that would make sense if it's actually playable somewhat. I don't know what deck it is, though, to be honest. So Dark Panther, very cool, expensive card. But I really don't know where it's used. We've got a Thought Ruler Archfiend, Ultimate Rare. Also beautiful looking card. Thought Ruler. I don't know what that one either. I think that was, wasn't that Crossroads of Chaos. Then we have a Blackwing Armor Master Ultimate Rare First Edition from Crimson Crisis. Obviously, Blackwings, beautiful looking card. This did get a Starlight Rare print and a 25th anniversary print, so it's been reprinted into the ground recently, but Ultimate Rare is probably the best rarity anyway, so very cool stuff there. Another nice one that's been going up is the Colossal Fighter from Turbo Pack. This card was like pretty cheap. We actually did good investing in this card in our $1,000 investment. For once, we actually had a good investment Speaking of, I think the update is either already happened or is about to happen for the quarter. So I'm pretty excited to see how we're doing, but I know this card's been going up and we spent like a lot less than what it's valued at right now, I believe. So that's a nice ultimate rare. And speaking of good synchros in Edison, we have, uh, I don't know if I ever said synchro on that. I think I said ultimate. Maybe I said that instead of synchro at some point. You know, I do that all the time. When I rewatch my videos, I'm like, I don't know what I was saying right there. We have the Ally of Justice Catastrophe. Definitely got some wear on this one. So it looks like it's been used, which is pretty cool. You always love to see that. That means people have been enjoying it. Ally of Justice Catastrophe. Very good card in Edison. And one more synchro from Edison. We have a Goyo Guardian. 
first edition. This is a big one from the Duelist Genesis. This is a pretty expensive first edition card, and it's just a crazy good card. You attack, you steal their monster, put it on your side of the field. Pretty cool. So Goyo Guardian is always a really good one to see. I mean, it's kind of forgotten behind the Stardust and the Duelist Genesis, but it's really, really good. Then we've got a Lila. So Light Sworn's first edition. Very cool. Lila, that is a nice looking card. I mean, Light Sworn's just have beautiful looking artworks. Very, very shiny. I like that. Speaking of Light Sworn's, we have a Celestia, Light Sworn Angel. Ultimate Rare. That's also from Light of Destruction. Both of these make sense because they're you know, lights warns. Then we're going to finish it off. We got some pretty big ones coming up. We have the Heraclinos Ultimate Rare from Turbo Pack 2. I don't know if I've ever owned this one. This one, uh, I remember Sean picking these up at YCS Minnesota and he wouldn't take my secret rare. I was like, the secret rare is better. This one's pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. Pretty nice card. There you go, Sean. We have three cards left. These are all huge cards. We have a first edition Plague Spreader, which I don't know if you guys have looked at the price of first edition Plague Spreader. You are right now. It's insane. Like the near mint, I, last I saw it was like 750 or something. I mean, it could have changed. It's been like a month but it was crazy i was like why is this card so much i mean it's obviously great in edison and you know other things but i mean first edition i guess crossroads of chaos first set it's very hard to find that's going to factor in because you know the first edition boxes are only in euro or uh pre-release all that different stuff so pretty hard to find that card a couple cards left we'll do these together because they're both awesome the dragons judgment dragon from turbo pack and dark arm dragon from turbo pack these are insane look at these light sworn and uh i guess you know, Diva Hero, whatever you're going to play it in, some sort of dad deck. Very, very cool. I don't have actually an Ultimate Rare in my dad deck. You know, really what I should do is crack my PSA 9 that got a 9 twice and put that in my deck. I think I'm going to do that. That's actually a good idea because like, I mean, I don't need a PSA 9. I might as well play it in my deck, you know. The thing I don't like about these Turbo Pack cards though is they're a little flimsy. So like shuffling them is a little scary. But you know what? I pulled it. I tried to get a crazy value on the 10. Didn't happen. So you know what? Let's just play it. And I also just picked up these. So very, very cool. Judgment Dragon is one I've never owned until now, I think. Maybe one time I had heavy play. I feel like that was, no, that was, that was light of destruction. Yeah, I've never had this ultimate rare, so that's really cool. So yeah, this Edison, you know, this is some crazy Edison stuff. I mean, really, really valuable stuff. Edison at the moment is insanely popular. The high, high rarity cards are really popular. The low rarity cards are really popular because people are getting into it. I'm pumped for the format. I really enjoy it. I like it because it's really complex and it's also accessible. I mean, the cards are pretty expensive, but accessibility in terms of like understanding how to play the game versus like nowadays is a little bit more tough, you know, with all the different you know summoning mechanics and stuff which are not that hard once you like actually get into it but it does take a while you know you've got to learn all the basics and everything this is much easier you take your old school knowledge and you add synchros and that's basically it but that's not all this collection we still have the whole sealed part let's that's a great start to this collection i'm pumped that's really really nice stuff let's see what the sealed collection has for us all right we got the first box open we got a few legendary collection kaibas Everybody loves Legendary Collection, especially me, and uh, we bought a few of them. And that wasn't the whole first box. There's actually a box of something. I'm guessing singles. I don't remember there being singles, but I guess they're... Oh, it's sleeves, maybe? Wait. Oh, there are a couple singles. These are really sick sleeves. Check these out. They look like... I mean, obviously, Japanese sleeves. I was going to say they look like Japanese sleeves. People would have been like, uh, yeah, you think? Okay. Uh, and then there's a few cards in here. Let's see what this is. There's still another box, by the way. This isn't it. What is this? This looks like Bandai back here. We have Dark Magician girl we have what in the world is this it's like a chibi dark paladin and then a dark magi Whoa, a rush duel those are insane those are crazy and then oh what larva moth so many cousin moths look at all those cousin moths that's insane we got a judge man we got kunai with chain what is this we have a is that a gate guardian what is that that was like a little different i don't know what that is I don't know what all these guys are. Is that the winged dragon? Maybe we got uh the flute of summoning dragon. No, Pied Piper, the Piper, something Piper. I don't remember what the Piper is. Silver Fang, cool. Wait, Silver. He's five stars. Interesting. Catapult Turtle. We have two out of King Rex. Wait, he's five stars too. Okay, there's something. Yeah, Bandai is just completely different. Uh, he taught me giant, I guess. We have I don't know what that is. Oh, the Meteor Bee Dragon. Ooh, this guy's in the anime. He's like uh one of the dinos, obviously. Leo Gun is that Leo Gun with like wings? Uh, ooh, Komodo Komodo Dragon or Komori Dragon? Komori Dragon. Komodo Dragon. Yeah, it's different. We have the uh, Axe Tiger Axe. There we go. That's the what is the the Harpy card? Whatever it's called. We have the that's a Harpy. More Harpy. More. That's Harpy Lady. We got Mammoth Graveyard. Dude, these look crazy. Giant Soldier of Stone. These look amazing. Mystical Elf. That one looks a little bit weird. We have the Celtic Guardian. Thousand Dragon. Gaia, the Dragon Champion. We have uh, Baby Dragon. Baby Dragon looks awesome. I love that Baby Dragon artwork. Flame Swordsman. The Curse of Dragon. We have... Now we have some trainers. Taya. Who is this? I don't know who that is. Yugi. 
Yami Yugi and Little Yugi. Joey. Joey! We got Kaiba with the green hair. That's classic. Uh, what's this guy's name again? Scale Guy? I don't remember. And then, uh, of course, Tristan. There we go. I need to rewatch the anime. It's bad. Bad that I can't remember. Not that the anime is bad. I, I like it. Next box. Let's see what's inside. All right, we have a Gold Series 4 Pyramids Edition. I'll just do it like this so you guys can actually see it. Uh, it's going to be a little sideways. You might have to turn your screen or turn your head like that. You know, see it like that. Gold Series 4. Very cool. Then we have a Battles of Legend Lights Revenge First Edition box. This is one I've never actually opened. Uh, what is this? It looks like one of those things you put when you like open a box up and then seal it again, but I don't... It seems sealed. That's weird. I don't know why that's there, but okay. Battles of Legend Lights Revenge. Actually, surprisingly expensive box at the moment because it's pretty old. It's like five or six years old at this point. There's not really anything crazy Minerva reprints in here, but you know, it's not worth that much. So pretty cool box, but not really crazy valuable there. Here's a big one. We have Legendary Collection Yugi's World. This is first edition. So you can tell because this is an actual card. It's not just a picture. On the Unlimited, they just have it printed on there. On the first eds, they have a window with the actual card inside. Another way to tell on uh, these is you just look and see if it says first edition. On all like the legendary collections, you can do that. You can just look on the mini packs on the back and if it says first ed, they're first ed, which is kind of a funny way to tell. But this is a really expensive product at the moment and I haven't actually opened a first ed in a very long time. So this might be a really fun one to open. It's definitely gonna be a neg if we do because they're like 400 bucks, 500 bucks, something ridiculous. So they're very cool though. I mean, just amazing, amazing secrets in this set. And, like, a lot of awesome reprints for old formats. And then our last item is a Prophecy Destroyer 10, but we didn't just buy one. He bought 10 of them. So as you can see, we have 10 different Prophecy Destroyer 10s here. This guy was a huge fan of Prophecy Destroyer, it seems like, and he wanted to sell them all. I was like, I guess I'll buy all 10. So he was obviously a Legendary Collection Kaiba and Prophecy Destroyer 10, because he had like nine of the Kaibas and 10 of these or something like that. So turned into a pretty insane collection video. I kind of didn't realize all this stuff was in here, but I'm pretty pumped to open this up. And uh, a lot of these you will be seeing on the channel. And some of that Edison stuff will be for sale. So if you're interested, just hit me up on Instagram, email, Twitter, all that different stuff. And uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Shout out to Tone Flow Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, and then a Tai Show, Ian Moosey Jr. Barding, Robert F., and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.